Hello everyone, Tampa Jay here, and welcome to Tampa Bay. We start today's journey at the top of Tampa Bay, but we're actually heading down south to where the bay meets the Gulf of Mexico to a place called Mullet Key. Now Mullet Key is not really known for the name Mullet Key. People know it as Fort DeSoto State Park, a park that is home to some of my favorite Florida beach. It's quite beautiful, but the subject matter is actually the fort. Fort DeSoto, an old army fort that's been sitting there since 1898 and has some really cool history to it. Just thought it'd be fun to walk around the old fort and take you with me. Well, all that being said, there's much ahead. But first, coffee. And that's why I come to Mountaineer Coffee, right here where I live in Oldsmar, Florida. It's a nice little place. Okay, so now it's time to hit the road. Now it's hard to tell but that flag up there is not your typical American flag. It's actually humongous. And we come now just inside of Fort DeSoto. And this sign indicates that the historic fort is to the right. All right, here we go. Welcome to Fort DeSoto on Mullet Key here at the tippy toe of St. Petersburg, south of Tierra Verde. And we're inside this beautiful old Florida park. Right inside the entrance of the state park are these awesome kayaks. And you can rent one of these bad boys or a canoe or one of these long paddleboard things here at Topwater Kayak. Or you could just bring your own. There is a pretty long stretch of beautiful scenic water trails out there. Just dying for you to take one of these and paddle upon it. Right across from the kayak entrance, past the American flag, down here is the entrance to the fort. Looks like we are greeted at the entrance of the historical fort by this long stretch of palm trees. Just 100 yards behind me is the actual Fort DeSoto, but first we come to the Quartermaster's Museum to get a brief background and history of the fort inside this original building. So this specific building here did serve as a quartermaster storehouse and here's a reconstruction right inside the door in the middle of the museum. Here's an actual quartermaster hard at work there taking some notes, reading the paper and check out all the things around him that he would be handing out. Check out the surplus here. There's some towels, shoes and just some little knickknacks there on the shelf. Look at that old case knife. I think my grandpa has one of those. Here's a photograph of Mullet Key in Fort DeSoto back in 1907. And here's a picture of the building we're actually standing in. Here's a photograph of the troops here at Fort DeSoto at the time of the Spanish-American War. And check out their uniforms. As you can tell, they're all wearing wool. Now, I can imagine that would have been very hot, especially in this Florida sun, and it's already Hot as it is wearing the clothes that we do today, but can you imagine fighting a battle in wool? As for some World War II history here at Fort DeSoto State Park, check out these old postcards. But the coolest fact is that the pilots that dropped the atomic bomb over Hiroshima use Mullet Key as target practice. It says here that the B-29 which dropped the atomic bomb in Hiroshima, Japan trained the B-17s that dropped bombs filled with sand on Mullet Key in 1942. Heat, humidity, sand, spurs, and snakes. Well, not much has changed in Florida. I'm checking out the early history of the islands. Here's an aerial view of Mullet Key. Now, Fort DeSoto was named after Hernando de Soto, the conquistador that explored most of this area, along with him and the other conquistador, Panfilio de Navares. It's hard to say that name, but I think I pulled it off okay. In order to find the fort, once you leave the museum, you just follow along this brick pathway. I'm looking straight at the fort. However, it's hard to tell because it's purposely camouflaged. We step back first a little ways just so you can see how giant the fort actually is. And hard to see. These six inch guns are the only indicator that you might see out there from the road to let you know that there is a fort here. But here we are 
walking into Fort DeSoto. Although we will be traveling up to the top at the end of the video, here's an old staircase that is original but no longer safe to climb up. We walk inside just to the right of the staircase and I'm already noticing a huge echo as we walk further in to what is called the dynamo room. Let's turn this corner here, see if we find anything. And it looks like a dead end, and it is. But there's an opening right here. Woo! Echo! <laughs> it's really cool, kind of creepy. You come now to these giant mortar cannons Look how massive they are. It's also just a beautiful spot. Look at the plants up there. The beautiful Florida foliage. Very tropical. Wow, that's a big barrel. You can see all the way down and out the other side. So we come now to these 12 inch mortar cannons. And I'm curious to see if these things still actually move up and down Let's go. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh. Now I think you're more likely to pull the sword out of the stone than you are to move these cannons. But that was fun. Looks like we have a data booth. Trekkies. <laughs> but now we're walking more along the front of the fort. It looks like that says firing room. Let's check it out. Looks like there's more empty rooms back in here. There's something down there, but first I noticed the lights are on in here. Oh, looks like we have some pictures. Here's a photo of famous actor Henry Fonda meeting another actor, someone playing Hernando de Soda at the park's opening and dedication in May 11th, 1963. Here's a photo from that same day of Miss Gloria Brady, Miss Florida hanging out with these conquistadors right out front here in front of Fort DeSoto. Looks like Fort DeSoto used to have a miniature railroad. I come over beyond this wall here into this room and it's hard to tell what this thing is. I don't see any information to describe it. Maybe it's around this corner. No, nope, there's not much around this corner. But I do know M and C were just here. It looks like most of the fort is the same, whether it's the north or the south side, they both kind of mimic each other as far as the layout of the rooms. Hey everyone, Tampa J here. Let me out. It seems I found the jail. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, excuse me. Well, I'm sure there used to be a door there. All right, now it's time to climb on top of the fort and see if we can get a good view of the Gulf of Mexico. Okay. Here's a look of the north side of the fort. And I read that when this fort was being constructed, all the dirt was brought in by hand and compacted to make these dunes to help camouflage it. And as you can see, it's all grown up now, but we're about to walk to the top. It kind of reminds me of like a pyramid, doesn't it? What do you think? This is a lot of steps, folks. Now, other than these air breathing vents sticking out of the top of the fort, it's very hard to tell that we were actually on top of Fort DeSoto. And over there is the Gulf of Mexico. And as I was talking in that last shot right behind me was another Beautiful, breathtaking view. The water looks 
mighty fresh and lovely right now. It's kind of warm. Actually, it's very warm. Out beyond these palmettos here and beyond the fishing pier is Egmont Key. And you can kind of see the Egmont Key lighthouse protruding up out of the island. But right there is where Fort DeSoto's sister fort is, Fort Dade. And it is slowly being eroded away out there on the tip. But there are remains there of the fort. And if you want to see it, go check out my video I shot there a couple months ago. Such a beautiful walk, walking across the top at Fort DeSoto. The plants, the sun, and the beautiful breeze. Very fortunate to be out here today. And thank you for joining me. Out beyond the trees there, you can actually see an oil tanker coming right out of Tampa Bay. Thank you for watching everyone, but unfortunately, this is going to be the end of it. I hope you had a nice time here exploring Fort DeSoto State Park. Not only a historic fort, but also a beautiful beach. We didn't see much of the beach today, but I saved that for a much later time, a much ahead time. Thank you for watching. It wouldn't be the same if you weren't. This may be the end of the video, but it is not the end of this journey. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, y'all. There is much ahead.